Can you explain what the demon is? The demon is a headless version of Wasabi Wallet. It's the same Wasabi Wallet, but without a graphical user interface. It's something that is, let's say, designed for being running all the time. And it provides basically an RPC interface for interacting with it. That's basically the, the difference. It would be good to allow people to create solutions based on Wasabi Wallet and integrate Wasabi Wallet with different components of the ecosystem and develop new solutions. Given you have something that can be running all the time and it consumes basically less memory, less CPU, less bandwidth and it provides this programmable interface, developers can create solutions with that. It is basically you don't need to launch Wasabi and operate it with the graphical user interface. You now have another interface that is the, the RPC and that allows you to, to interact with that, basically. What were the benefits or improvements achieved through this refactoring? That is more suitable for running, for having Wasabi Wallet running all the time, right? If it consumes less memory, basically because it doesn't contain the full UI. There is, for example, a mode that is called block-only mode that um, doesn't process all the transactions but only works with blocks. It is preferable to be running all the time and in that case the benefits is for, are for example that you don't need to be worried about uh, synchronizing your wallet every time you need to use it and, but, and, and things like that. But basically the idea of uh, having a programmable interface that you can use to create new solutions based on Wasabi is what in my opinion is the the benefit, right? For example, if you you can create a, a, a Microsoft Excel plugin that you can use for for sending transactions. I mean, you can make payments, schedule payments. You know, Excel is just one example, right? You can integrate it with whatever. What challenges did you encounter while implementing the command line configuration and environment variable support? Basically that um, before Wasabi was only configurable through uh, a config file uh, and that config file has very few, in my opinion, options. There, there, there can be many other options. So how to extend that mechanism to allow Wasabi to be configured through the command line, it was a, a, a bit challenging. But for example, if you, before you had to use a different network, for example, right? You have to, you open Wasabi, you saw, oh, I'm in testnet, so you have to close Wasabi, go to the config file, modify the file and launch Wasabi again. In this way, you do, for example, Wasabi network equal main, and that's it. It's main, it, it overrides whatever you have specified in the config file. What I think is much more convenient. Can you provide examples of the types of command line options that will be possible to implement now with the daemon? Yes, right now what we have is basically a, something like a com full compatible version, right? I mean, the, the, the switches that we have in the command line are the same that we have in the config file, plus a few like uh, lock level, a new one that is called uh, block only. That, that is very important because in that way you, for example, if you are, have one of these operating systems that cleans the disk after you, you use it, you can specify, okay, Wasabi, data dir, my removable um, device, blah, 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 the path. So you can, you can specify where the data directory is, so it's, it's very convenient too. But what next? I don't know. I, I, there is a, a feature that it was available in Wasabi Wallet 1, that is Mix 2, that is basically you can, it allows you to mix to another wallet. I mean, after you have enough anonymity set, those coins were sent to another wallet, things like that are still missing, but I think most of the of the functionality shouldn't be command lines because it is a demon. I mean, it's a process that is running all the time. So all the communication, I mean, the, the interface should be the RPC. And in that sense, we are playing with the, some concepts like, for example, paying in coin joins, right? That you can say paying coin join, the address, the amount, and that payment 
is basically done in a coin join, so the payee cannot track it back, for example. And things like that, things like the pay to end point are concepts that we are still researching and playing with. But in my opinion, basically, the idea is if we have something to implement, some ideas like that, it's good to implement them first in the in the daemon, make them available through the RPC interface. Once it's tested, it works well, then we can, let's say, make them available for the rest of the users through the user interface. Were there any trade-offs or considerations made in terms of resource usage? Yes, but it's are not trade-offs. Basically, if you remove the UI, I mean, all the, the code, all the components, all the memory used by the UI basically disappears. So it uses less memory. Uh, I don't remember, it depends the environment. It's more or less 100 megabytes less. And if you, for example, enable the uh, block-only mode, it doesn't process all the transactions coming from the peer-to-peer -peer network. So I didn't measure that, but it's obviously that if you do less work, you use less CPU. And in terms of bandwidth, it is still not done. It could be good to, if you activate block only mode, basically work with blocks only. So you receive a block every 10 minutes in average. So when you receive the block, you process the block and that's all what the CPU should do. So in terms of CPU, memory and bandwidth, it is an, an improvement and that make it a bit more suitable for running on no so powerful computer. Also, if you don't have to synchronize your wallet because your wallet is all the time synchronized because that process is running all the time, it is also better. What are the next steps or future plans for the project after the daemon is added? Well, the idea is to dog food that, right? I mean, we create it. Now, let's use it. Once we use it, by creating an alternative UI, for example, that's one project, we will see if the RPC is enough for, for creating a new wallet, for sending, receiving, listing the history, starting coin join, stopping coin join, creating new wallets, recovering wallets, and all the functionality should be exactly the same. So you should be able to do exactly the same that you do in the using the UI, right? That using the, the RPC. And as I told you, basically, given that it's easier, to create new features and test them through the RPC instead of creating all the UI for, for that. I think is the new developments and the new research and the new experiments and proof of concept, paying coin join is one example. It should be available first using the RPC and after that in the UI. <laughs>